So we know that Twilight has been studying gravity spells. I actually studied gravity spells thinking it might be on my test. And she's pretty proficient at them, a pretty fundamental force of the universe. Mm -hmm. How come time spells are so much harder? Well, she did one though. Twilight, you've got to listen to me. Uh, but not very well. She could barely do these time-based aging, feed up, slow down spells. The one time she transported herself in time to give a message, which was different from aging an object or a pony within one timeline. It doesn't stop time, but it lets you go back in time. It says you can go back once, and it only lasts for a few moments. Mm. She's like moving an object to a different timeline versus shifting an object inside well, of Well, okay, timeline. when you're, you're not... The aging spell is not a time-related spell, right? What it is is you're modifying a pony. It's a biological modification spell, which she's been practicing, right? And like we turning, know. But she was turning apples into oranges she was doing it on fruits and birds and small animals turning <laughs> them into fruits but to modify like you know and i guess she can make things bigger and smaller i think she's done that right but to you know and move things around but to biologically modify a genetic engineering spell it's not a uh a time traveling spell yeah but it so if, if it was a time traveling spell she could go mm, and bring like you know uh, grown up Apple Bloom suddenly poof can come back in time and tell young Apple Bloom. Well, you could argue that they're, cutie mark. they're two different sides of time manipulation. It's just which timeline you're actually manipulated the timeline of an object or the timeline of the space around the object. But we, the thing is, that's important is everybody who knows magic seems to be aware that age magic is only for the highest level unicorns. An age spell? But how could you do an age spell? That's only for the highest level unicorns. Now, Correct me if I'm wrong. Genetic engineering is tough. Does it not appear that both Celestia and Luna are immortal? That they, at least we've seen Celestia has been around for a long time. Thousands of years, yeah. You and think maybe they're using this age spell on themselves to keep themselves young so they don't... So is it that these are difficult or that they are forbidden? I don't think they're forbidden, right? Because Celestia didn't get pissed off and arrest Trixie for using them. Or uh, she didn't know. And if Twilight learned them, she wouldn't be like, you know... Uh, you're well, not... she's grooming Twilight to take over I'm or just something. saying, it's like if someone learned one, it doesn't seem that they would be in trouble, right? It would just be like, holy shit, that's awesome, right? That's the... You know, Twilight wasn't like, that's forbidden. She was like, that's only the highest level unicorns would be able to do that. Well, only for the highest level unicorns is what she said, I believe. Yeah. I, but maybe it's forbidden in the sense that the the spell books describing this stuff are just not commonly available. Yeah, I think it's it's just that it's hard to do, and only the highest level unicorn would be able to do it, right? Or someone who just has an amulet. <laughs> or someone who has an amulet. <laughs> But Twilight was able to do a little bit. She got that flower to almost regress well, about an hour. Was she? Or was she maybe, she thought she was getting it to, to but she was actually just squishing it. And it, that's why it would pop right back. Or maybe she was sending it slightly back in time to evening when it was closed. Who knows what she was doing? <laughs> what we do know she was doing is also lamenting the fact that she couldn't get Spike to teleport a letter back yeah, to the if, princess. Yeah, if it was forbidden and she was not the highest level unicorn, she wouldn't have tried to do it knowing that it was forbidden. She might have anyway in a dire situation. Yeah. I anyway. mean, she broke the rule to save the Crystal Empire in the test, and that turned out <laughs> to be the right thing to do. I wish it had been me who ultimately made it so, but it wasn't. Twilight, as I understand it, Spike brought Princess Cadence the Crystal Heart because you weren't sure how quickly you could find a way to escape the tower. You weren't willing to risk the future of the citizens of the Crystal Empire in an effort to guarantee your own. Far better that I have a student who understands the meaning of self-sacrifice than one who only looks out for her own best interests. <laughs> Maybe now she has been trained to always break rules. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right, so, but get back to this. She was lamenting that she couldn't get Spike to send a letter back to the princess to get help from Saddle Arabia. Why not? Spike was there. They could talk through the glass jar. Because, that okay, so if 
Spike's, you know, fire breathing teleporting is teleporting. We assume, I guess, it's similar to te Twilight's teleporting, which is the number one spell uh, she the knows. The thing is, it doesn't seem to require, like, it always gets to Celestia not knowing where she is at the time. I think that's what Spike does. I think Spike can send it where he wants. I don't think he can. I still think that Spike is a special dragon because he was the egg they used as the test to see if someone was Jean Grey or not. Yeah, we don't I know how Spike went from being born to having that ability with his fire. I really think that specific ability is something that the prince that's sort of engineered in with some sort of technique into Spike. That could be. Uh, but anyway. So why didn't you just say, still hey Spike, send a letter of, to Celestia? It's still some sort of teleporting. If teleporting was going to work through the glass dome, Twilight could have teleported her ass back into Ponyville. We don't know that she could have. Or teleported Spike out to, and then had him send a message. And even if Trixie was just going to kick her out of town immediately again, she still could have gotten in or out of town really quickly had Spike send the message, or Spike could have sent the message on his fucking own. Nah, because we know that Spike isn't actually that good of a reader or a writer. <laughs> that we are on the precipice of disaster. Hold on. Pressure. Pressure. Threshold. Where? Uh, Brink? Uh, that something really bad is about to happen. Except he does all the writing for everybody. Yeah, he takes dictation. And he has trouble with that sometimes. He wrote a letter to the princess once. Yeah, but he clearly needs some assistance. How come none of the other ponies were like, why don't we ask Celestia for help? <laughs> they never asked Celestia for help. But it's so weird, right? Is is think about this. You know, we're sitting here and we have problems in this world, but you know, we don't say, Hey, Obama, we need help. <laughs> no, is it man, Ram? You couldn't get to the grocery store yesterday? There was a it was a Thanks, mugger. Obama. Why didn't you call Obama for help? I right? should have. That's the same reason they don't call Celestia is, for help. The thing is it's just as stupid as calling Obama so, for help. If uh, a dragon appeared like right there on the Queensboro Bridge and started fucking shit up, I would Try to call Obama. I would call 911. That's effectively calling Obama. No, it's not. That's calling the cops down the street. So are there cops? I've never, other than the Royal Guard, I've never seen like magistrates. We've never seen anyone else enforcing the law. No judges. No one did anything when uh, no Gilda, lawyers. Gilda was stealing. <gasps> I did misjudge her. She's not only a meanie me pants, she's also a thief. No one did anything. No one was like, Swiper, stop swiping. There is no crime in Equestria because uh, there is, everyone is afraid of Celestia. <laughs> well, I mean, are you going to be a criminal if you know that friggin' magic is going to come down on you? You know what? I might because I know that Celestia appears to be very forgiving and willing to help people out. <laughs> and you know where the prison is? It's the moon. That's why I don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't see any prisons or anything. Everyone's looking at it all the time, every night. Watch right. the fuck out. So Trixie uh, was somewhat unnerved that Twilight was able to cast an age spell. But apparently duplication spells are also difficult because when... It's also uh, genetic engineering. You're creating life. As an aside, did you notice that look that Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy gave each other when they were looking well, at each were, other dressed were, up as Rainbow Dash. They were two Rainbow Dash looks. One was the aw yeah look and one was the other look. The other look. <laughs> yeah, they're both <laughs> they were both classic A plus Rainbow Dash looks. So Fluttershy was doing her Rainbow Dash impersonation either no matter which one she was. I imagine Fluttershy practices that in the mirror. Uh maybe. <laughs> like ah yeah. So we talked before how, because there's been no reference to the multiple Pinkie Pies, I think we can assume that the real Pinkie Pie is trapped in the mirror world forever. So the Pinkie Pie that happened here, the fact that, oh, that was just Pinkie Pie, and she was playing those 10 instruments despite not having a mouth. What about the pony with the 10 instruments? That's not magic, that was just Pinkie Pie. Yeah! What unnerved me a little was when Twilight summoned or created a Parasprite. Okay, here's my theory on this, right? Because we know Twilight could not do a duplication spell, right? Only the mirror pool could do that. Yep. And, uh, you know, Trixie was like, what the fuck? And that's, I guess, genetic engineering creation of life. But, but yes, a but Parasprite is also creation of life. So either explanation number one, a Parasprite is much simpler, easier to create. Two, much more reasonable. I think Twilight just knows 
where the Paris sprites are because she, you know, got rid of them. And she grabbed one. She grabbed one and teleported it in, which she very much knows how to do. She summoned the Paris sprite, either brought it in from wherever it was or created one, and she could create one because it wasn't uh, a duplicate. It wasn't as complex as creating a pony. Though when uh, the second one appeared, she kind of remembered, oh, right, Paris sprites. But she was able to just get rid of them, like, poof. Did she send them back, or did she destroy them? Ah, and if she, whatever she did, could she not have done it the first time the Paris sprite showed up? Or is it because her magic has, power has increased so much, and now she has that ability? To because like, everyone, poof, has, on. everyone has been going on about how much better her magic is now she's been improving she's been training under celestia she you know saved the crystal Empire. she's moved on to the next level of magic so that must include the summoning of the paris but apparently is still at least one level below uh, age, age magic. spells and duplication spells and such and such yep now we still i mean trixie clearly didn't think her clever plan through i mean she covered the whole place well, she didn't think of the plan her plan was get magic item to be more powerful than twilight slowly and then, go crazy because you know, magic item corrupts her but wouldn't it be faster if we had some uh, wheels? The great and powerful Trixie doesn't trust wheels. Now pull faster. Yeah, I'm telling you, Snips, she's getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> and then corrupt magic items sort of did the rest. Right? She didn't do the rest. But That's it, why she was sorry. Up until this point, every time someone made a force field, it was a force field. This one was just a summoned glass jar. I don't think it was blocking teleportation. I don't know. Plus, did you notice how Trixie was able to detect that someone was interfering with it, right? Some pony set off the magic force field and Trixie intends to punish them. Mm. So when the beavers were smacking at it, she knew the same way that we know, like if someone touches, you know, a, a fence on the border, right? They have sensors in, in the control room. You can see which part of the fence got hit. Yep. You know, she knew that the be someone was out there messing with it and she went out. So it wasn't just glass. And it was definitely magic. It might have been glamour. It was glass, but then with a the glamour to tell her someone fucked with it. Maybe, but it's like, uh, you know, people leave and enter Ponyville, right? Didn't someone like get trapped out or like someone show up and be like, what the fuck? Well, the Apple family must have been in Ponyville at the time, not at their ranch. Right. It's like, you know, there were, all the apple trees were definitely outside the dome. Did, did no traders like show up? What about the train? The trains, did the train crash into the side of this thing? Yeah, why didn't the cows like stampede uh, and smash it? Maybe they did. Everything outside is in chaos because there was no one to manage it. 